everyone, welcome or welcome back to my American Girl YouTube channel, AJ Bliss. So the last seasonal, what all of my dolls are wearing video I did was in spring 2023. So now I'm doing the summer video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy what all of my dolls are wearing for summer. First of all, on the very left we have Joss and she's sporting a summery pink and green dress from Timu. The design has flamingos, flamingo feathers, and palm tree leaves on it. The dress also has a twirly ruffly skirt and ruffly sleeves. As for her hair, I did two french braids into two pigtails in the back. And she's not wearing any shoes. Second to the left we have Quinlan. And she's wearing an American Girl teal tank top. With a puffy white American Girl skirt. Her hair is also in two pigtails and she's wearing some really cute pink sparkly truly me shoes. Second to the right we have my doll Mary Ellen. Her hair is in a high ponytail with her meat bow in it. And she's wearing a teal long sleeve shirt with purple polka dots on it from an Amazon clothes lot as well as McKenna's meat skirt. And for her shoes she's just wearing some saddle shoes. Next the doll first to the right is Lily. She's my Truly Me 39. My sister did two fishtails on her hair which which I think looks so cute on her and they definitely suit her. To match her eyes, she's wearing a blue American Girl tank top with a flower on it, as well as a pair of shorts from an Amazon doll clothes lot. She's also not wearing any shoes. Next we have my historicals, all just in outfits from their time period. Molly's wearing her full school outfit, which I know isn't very summery, but it's the best I could do. She's wearing her full school outfit with a white blouse underneath, two braids with two navy green ribbons, as well as white socks and saddle shoes. Next we have Emily, who's in her floral blue meat dress. She has a headband with two white flowers on it, and a red polka dot sash tied in a bow around the back, as well as puffed sleeves and no shoes. Then in the middle we have Kit. My kit doll has chopped hair in the front since I got her second hand, so I swirled it up into a clip and now I think it looks really good. Anyway, she's wearing her meat outfit. She's wearing a lavender pinkish sweater along with her floral skirt. And some brown saddle shoes. Then we have Samantha who's also wearing her meat outfit. She has her original meat ribbon along with a little red sash and her meat shoes and tights. Next, on the very, very far right, we have Nellie. She's also wearing her meat dress, which looks light and breezy and summery to me. She has a big sky blue bow in her hair, as well as a sky blue sash, and she's also not wearing any shoes. Next, we have the boys and some of my modern characters. We have Tenny wearing a swimsuit from Timu. It has a ruffled skirt and a really cute top that goes around the neck and ties in a bow in the back. The pattern features polka dots with various colors, shapes, and sizes, as well as a blue trim. And the skirt has two layers. Next we have my doll Julie. She's wearing the AG Sweet Dreams shirt. Her hair is in two pigtails at the top tied with purple hair ties, and she's also wearing the Our Generation Skater outfit bottoms. Next we have Dustin, who's still dressed as Harry Potter. He's wearing the Harry Potter Gryffindor set as well as some black pants from an Amazon clothes lot. Then we have Elliot, who's wearing some American Girl navy blue jeans and a yellow and blue basketball jersey from the Amazon clothes lot. Next, on the very, very right, we have Nikki, who's wearing some sort of 2000s top. It's not American Girl, so I'm not sure where it's from, but she is wearing American Girl 2000s style bell-bottom jeans, and her hair is in her signature hairstyle, two braids with her two highlights hanging out. Next we have my 1775 to 1800s girlies. I tried to dress all of them in a summery floral print with the exception of Mary Grace. This is probably my favorite doll shelf with all of their outfits. I think they all coordinate really well and they look really cute. Anyway, on the very left we have Addie who's wearing a non-AG historical fancy 1800s dress with a green floral print and extremely puffed sleeves. It also has a bow in the middle with four ribbons hanging down. She's also wearing the seashell necklace from her accessories along with the bonnet from her accessories. Next we have Felicity and she's wearing a Kirsten style prairie dress. 
It's blue and has a pattern of red and white flowers. And I think it's really floral and works with the summer theme. And she's also wearing red boots. Her hair is just in a ponytail. Then we have Kirsten, whose hair is in two braids. She's wearing a homemade mop cap that I sewed for her, as well as a long purple floral dress that I got from an antique shop. This dress isn't American Girl either, so I'm not sure where it's from. Then we have Mary Grace, whose hair is in a ponytail, with her four signature pin curls out on each side. She's also wearing her meat dress, and she's not wearing any shoes. And then on the very right, we have my beautiful Caroline. I specifically matched the dress to her eyes and I thought it would look really good. She's actually wearing Elizabeth's holiday gown, which is supposed to be wintry, but I think it's summery because of the floral print and the bright and light colors. I think it looks really pretty on her. Next we have these five dolls at the very bottom. Michaela on the very left is wearing the Truly Me dress from 2020. No shoes. Courtney is wearing a dress from Timu. Her hair is in a high poof with all the curls spilling out, and I also tied a white ribbon around it since it was a bit loose around the waist. Sailor Faith is wearing an off-brand long pink skirt with a shimmery sequin top from Covey's performance outfit. Channing, the doll with the cotton candy hair on the second to the right, is wearing a sparkly pink short Timu dress. And finally, we have Claudia who's wearing some Our Generation overalls that come with the doll Nicole, I believe. The AG Performance shoes and an off-brand white top under it. Her hair is also in two poofs. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my dolls in their summery outfits. Thank you so much for watching and please consider liking and subscribing this video if you haven't already. Thank you so much. See you next time.